Shalom guys and welcome again to Jerusalem we are now next to the Jaffa gate the beautiful gate leading to the old city of Jerusalem there is a nice song in the background you can hear and today I have a special treat for you because we're gonna go on a tour on the walls of Jerusalem and we're gonna be able to walk on those ancient walls that you can see we are about a week before Rosh Hashanah a Jewish holiday uh, so people are actually starting to prepare for this holiday and uh, this is like the Jewish New Year uh, the beginning of a year so uh, before we'll go up I just want to show you this view here um, this is the East Jerusalem over here so the old city and over here you have the West Jerusalem so you can see in the background over there in, there is the Hotel of David and here is one of the main roads that leads to Hebron and over there you can see the minaret uh, which is sticking out of the Tower of David so uh, I hope this tour today will be interesting for you I am happy that we can do it today and let's see what we can see today so let's go so we're now heading to the ramp tour to this call not a lot of people know actually that you can walk up the walls and not a lot of people are doing it but it's a really nice tour this is where you enter it you see this is the other side of the Jaffa gate over here uh, this is where you buy the tickets to go because you need tickets and uh, this is where you go <laughs> Walking up, and there should be a scanning machine that will let us through. There we go. here let's see the view from here so now if you can imagine we are standing on top of the Jaffa gate okay so this is the main entrance to the old city from the Jaffa gate this is the street I was showing you before leading to Hebron and over here where the flags are this is the Tower of David as I explained many times on my channel uh, that tower is not actually from the times of David but the foundation of those uh, structures are from the time of the first, uh, second temple so Herod times and this is possibly very likely many archaeologists believe so and historians that this is where the uh, three towers built by Herod uh, were built so this 
the foundation of this tower the tower of david is actually a remains of one of the towers that herod the great built so this is how it looks from the inside you have some uh, information here mm, there's like uh, like um, historical timeline how it all started so we have from the 3000 uh, the Canaanite city that was created and then around 1000 this is when David and Solomon started to rule and created um, Jerusalem to be the capital of all the tribes of Israel and you have all the different stages of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a city built layer on layer. It's just a lot of history here. So, we're gonna go now on the walls. So we're gonna walk, walk up here and continue. So let's go. Okay, so we're walking up. And this will give us a good view now on the walkway. You can see the walkway from the main street, the Jaffa Street, to the Jaffa Gate. So this is one of the main entrances to the old city. And you can see here the walls that we stand on. This is how it looks from the top. So once again, we can see a view on the Jaffa Gate from above. Not a lot of people see this view, so Hope you're enjoying it. You can see some of the terraces here, the roofs of buildings. And this is basically the, this is where the Christian quarter starts. So this way, and uh, we're gonna go this way. This is where the Christian quarter, most of the uh, important places uh, connected to Christian religion are located this also in this direction you go to the the church of the Holy Sepulchre so this is the direction we'll go so oh, from here actually you can see the uh, Mount of Olives maybe, maybe from here it will be better you can already see the over there in the background there is the Mount of Olives and the Seven Arch Hotel Jordanian Hotel on top of it so you can see the view we have a nice weather today it's very warm but not too warm it's about uh, 29 degrees Celsius uh, tomorrow it will be much warmer, about 33, so mm, today is not bad. So I hope you're enjoying this wonderful view. Let's go see here again and see the Jaffa Gate from this side now. This is a nice view. And the poster. Reminding us that soon we'll have Rosh Hashanah, a new year. Rosh is a word which means the head, and Shana is year, so it's the head of the year, if you translate it literally. But it means actually the beginning of a new year.
background. Once again, you can see the King David Hotel. And people are entering and exiting the Jaffa Gate. And we are experiencing it all from the walls of Jerusalem. What a blessing it is to experience all of that. I really am happy that I uh, decided to do this tour. So, we're gonna continue in this direction. So, let's go. Before we continue, uh, I want to talk a little bit about those walls. Uh, because we're walking on them and I didn't really, uh, for those of you that are not aware, uh, those walls, mm, most of them are from about 17th century. Uh, they were built by Suleiman the Magnificent as a fortification of Jerusalem. And throughout history, Jerusalem had walls uh, and then there were periods that the walls were destroyed and they were built up again so it really depended on who was real ruling Jerusalem and what was the purpose of the city uh, so some civilizations for example the Mamluks destroyed the walls uh, so that it wouldn't become a stronghold for another civilization uh, when the Ottoman Empire started ruling those lands, Suleiman decided to fortify the city uh, to protect it uh, from the Crusaders because the Crusaders still wanted to take back Jerusalem from the Muslims. So uh, there was this threat and to make this more difficult, those walls were built and we are actually standing in like a tower protecting tower there's about 26 if I'm not mistaken of those towers on the walls so uh, this is a fortification system uh, that we can observe today so, of course, those walls are not ancient as we may think. Some parts of the wall are on a, um, on a place where the foundations of an ancient walls were built. But uh, if we talk about the, the age of the walls, they're from the 17th century, the Ottoman empire uh, although the the stones that are used to build those stones some of them are from much ancient times uh, they were reused uh, by the ottomans to um, to create those walls and this is a typical stone for jerusalem the yellow stone the kurkar stone uh, which is a delicate stone uh, but also a very beautiful stone it's kind of like a yellowish color at night when the lights shine on it it becomes like gold so that's why there's this famous song Jerusalem of gold so once again a view and we're gonna go in that direction now so we're continuing our walk and uh, on this side we'll see different churches for example this building over here with the yellow and white flag is the Latin 
Patriarchat uh, building, so the Vatican, and uh, there's uh, a statue here. So, as you walk, you can see this information about the different periods of Jerusalem. This is another watchtower. <laughs> and another view on the Jaffa Gate. So there are actually people living here, so you have another side of Jerusalem that you don't see, see the backyards of uh, churches and houses, so you can see it from the kitchen if you would say so, but it's a really neat uh, Tour. If you're ever gonna be in Jerusalem, you can do it. It's about 25 shekels, so not very expensive. It's not cheap, but it's, it's uh, I think it's worth doing. So here's another statue of another soldier from another period. This is talking about the Mamluks, and the Mamluks actually actually were uh, uh, well were coming from Egypt so uh, it's another civilization that ruled Jerusalem for uh, well almost 300 years so they did have an impact on the outlook of Jerusalem too especially if you go to the Western Wall uh, they have elevated the city uh, building huge arches uh, enabling uh, people to get on the Temple Mount from ground level so if you go to the uh, Lion's Gate for example you will I, I mean if you're Muslim you will be able to enter the um, the Temple Mount from uh, the ground level so you don't have to actually climb steps and this is because the Mamluks created those arches that uh, enabled people to actually be on the same level as the Temple Mount from that part of Jerusalem so here's another tower so you can see we are getting further and further from Jaffa Gate and uh, we're going in this direction so we're passing next to the Christian quarter but we will be going in the direction of the Muslim quarter so uh, we'll be able to see that also today and you will see a totally different atmosphere when we're gonna go to to the for example Damascus gate and we're gonna be able to see the Damascus gate from from there so, once again a view you can see there's not a lot of people walking this trail uh, which is very very nice I really like it uh, 
and the reason is that not a lot of people know that you can actually walk here so it's like uh, you need to be a little more sus sophisticated in Jerusalem to know that there is actually places in Jerusalem that you can go to and see apart from the more traditional tourist places like the Western Wall of course, Western Wall the Mount of Olives and of course those places are very important to see don't get me wrong but there is also many many other places but look at this view how beautiful it is and we can see Jerusalem from this angle interesting person here and this is talking about the great Jewish revolt so it was a big revolt but the consequences of this revolt were quite tragic because at the end of the revolt the uh, Romans destroyed the temple in AD 70 it was a very tragic day the revolt did not accomplish uh, its goal to be liberated from the boot of the Romans and the consequences of the revolt were um, were felt for generations that followed. So now the wall will turn. We will go more to the, I'd say, east, this direction. So I can see a cool college over here. They have a uh, place where they can play basketball by the unique spot. <laughs> for a field once again the view from this side and from this side over there the tower you can see is the YMCA center next to the King David Hotel so let's continue our walk well, maybe I will show you this view here. This is also interesting because from here you go straight. This is the Jaffa Street. So the beautiful street and this is where the famous uh, Jerusalem tram goes. And this tram, you can take this tram to go to, for example, Mount Herzl, where the Yad Vashem Museum is. You can go to the main a train and bus station so it's very convenient and what I like about this tram is that uh, there's basically just one line so uh, you can't really get lost uh, you get on it and you go to the end of the route and that's it and then if you want to return you just go to the other side and you return so it's very easy you don't get lost so that's nice. So. This 
so we're continuing our route route our route i'm sorry and here you can see some of the limestone of jerusalem again a view on jaffa street over there going east we're going in the direction of the Damascus gate so this is an interesting installation here uh, the bottom part of a huge <laughs> Christmas tree I mean it's not really a tree it's just branches that are put together but I, I believe uh, it will be completed around Christmas and of course this is you know you, oh you can see the different parts of the Christmas tree here <laughs> so this is the top of it this is like the middle part uh, oh, this is a good view of it so <laughs> uh, but it looks broken so maybe it's not gonna be up this year I don't know okay so another view from this side olive trees and here you can already ski see Mount Scopus Mount Scopus is really part of Mount of Olives but you know it's it became called this way as a separate place so this is what you would call Mount Scopus and the tower in the background on top of this uh, this is where the Hebrew University is so we are starting to see the, uh, the beautiful landscape showing us Mount of Olives And here you have palm trees. And the tram. Famous Jerusalem tram. So over here you can see already the landscape showing us more and more of Mount of Olives and uh, I don't know if you can see it but there is a, like a tower I will try to zoom it uh, as I edit the video um, there's, a, there's a, a German hospital over there and you can go on top of this tower and on this tower from this tower, if the weather is nice, if the view is good, you can see uh, the Dead Sea. And this is actually quite... Uh, the Mount of Olives is, is quite uh, symbolic because what is behind this mountain uh, is basically dead. You have the desert, you have the Dead Sea, nothing grows there. And if you pass this mountain, if you come to this direction, to the west, life starts. So we need to pass this mountain to see life. This is where Jerusalem begins, where you have plants, uh, things are starting to grow. And this is quite symbolic of, if we remember the ancient prophecies, that there were, there's gonna be a massive uh, resurrection of the dead, uh, dead happening uh, on Mount of Olives when the Messiah will come and those people will be again coming from death to new life and it's gonna be a, an amazing moment so it's, it's quite 
interesting to uh, to think about it that behind this mountain there is death and here uh, it is life so it's like a division between life and death and um, I hope to go to this hospital this German hospital uh, and uh, show you the view from it because it's quite special but now let's continue our walk Actually, we're standing on a gate. Be uh, below us is a gate. This is the new gate. It's called new because it was opened uh, much, um, much uh, later than the other gates. Uh, it was created to have a. Actually, I will be able to show you this. Uh, this gate the new gate over here so this is actually we could exit here but we will not uh, this is the gate which is called the dew gate and it was created to give an additional access to the christian quarter because this is where we are now still so there are different churches of different denominations here. You know, you have the Catholic churches, you have the um, uh, Greek Orthodox, you have Russian Orthodox. So many different denominations are here. Here. Past every corner, there is a nice view behind each corner. Every angle is a little bit different. So let me know if you like tours like that, or I just talk and mm, walk around Jerusalem. I have done some videos in the past, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I will try to go to places that are not as famous, uh, that are kind of a little bit secret maybe, uh, to show you the different sides of Jerusalem. And there is so much explore <laughs> to explore. This is uh, a city where uh, there is just so much. You never get bored in, in Jerusalem. In the, and you can actually never get enough of it, you know. it's. Each time you come here, each time you visit, I think you you will be able to experience that. So here we have another period. So we have a Roman soldier now. Okay, the Jewish people did not like the Romans very much. And of course the Roman Empire again ruled Jerusalem for more than 300 years and uh, after the great Jewish revolt 
and the Romans continued to rule Jerusalem uh, to rule the city they made huge changes to, to the city especially during the reign of Emperor Hadrian who basically redesigned Jerusalem to become a Roman city and wipe out all the Jewish uh, biblical history of Jerusalem and uh, of course that was a failure it didn't really flourish as a Roman city uh, because what was attractive about this city was its spiritual its religious significance and when you took that out uh, it basically lost its significance so here again a beautiful view and we are now basically entering uh, the Muslim quarter so this is basically where it starts and it's gonna be much much louder <laughs> in this part of Jerusalem you will hear, hear uh, people shouting uh, you will hear uh, horns of the cars so it's gonna be chaos so get ready but we're gonna go there because it's quite interesting to see also and uh, over that, there, over there, in that direction, this is where we're gonna go. This is where the Damascus Gate uh, is located. So again, here uh, is the Mount of Olives, uh, Mount Scopus, and this is the Eastern Jerusalem. So the majority of the people that live here uh, over there are Muslim so this is east and in that direction over there is west it's not a very nice view here <laughs> okay so let's continue our journey So now it's a good day to look into that direction because the sun is shining towards the east. So the best um, the best time to visit the Mount of Olives is in the morning because then the sun shines on the side from which you observe the Jerusalem. But the best view on the mount uh, to see mount of olives is actually in the in the evening so here is another statue showing you the umayyad soldier mm, umayyads were quite an interesting civilization they were slaves from Egypt that were able to liberate themselves and become a really powerful uh, empire as I told you they have made a lot of changes to Jerusalem also during the reign Here is a view on this park. And another view on this 
park and the palm trees in the background and they have to water this grass of course because it doesn't rain very often and during this time and it's actually a lot of water but thankfully, thankfully Israel has developed a system of uh, dropping uh, irrigating the the plants by drops of water uh, that are coming from a special channel so it's a very sufficient way of uh, actually providing water to the plants and this is helping a lot because during this time like now uh, the water just evaporates from your body so it's very important to drink a lot of water when you visit Jerusalem during summer uh, because you don't even feel it sometimes and you can get dehydra dehy dehydrated so it's very important to remember to keep drinking this water even if you don't like drinking a lot of water you need to do it because uh, it's a very dry climate here it's not like Tel Aviv where it's very humid here it's very dry and the water just escapes your body very quickly so once again a nice view See, some people are living here. And you can see that almost every building has a boiler uh, on top of it. So this is where you keep the water. And this is uh, how you heat it up. It's uh, a lot of uh, satellite uh, things here, a lot. <laughs> I wonder what that's all about. Okay, so... It's a... Don't, don't worry, I will not show it to you. No, no, no. no. I delete it already. No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> so they are worried that I, I recorded them. So, I'm sure that you have not seen a view like that. Uh, you can see like a mosaic right of of different things and in the background you see the Mount of Olives and uh, Golden Dome Dome of the Rock so. and here this is where we have the Muslim border. And here is a cat <laughs> on the walls of Jerusalem.
Okay, so let's go. We're getting close now to the Damascus Gate. So, we're now getting very close to the Damascus Gate, as you can see the sign over here, this is where you go down to the gate. And this is the exit to the new city, and this is where you enter the old city, the Muslim Quarter. So this is how it looks from this perspective and we are basically on the level of the uh, uh, the golden dome the dome of the rock so the temple level from here go here for a moment okay so here's another statue showing you a soldier from the uh, Abu Yitz Sultanate so they were ruling Jerusalem from 1187 to 1260 so not not that long actually this is the top of the Damascus Gate. So, once again, a view. And what you can see here, the big uh, grey cupola, this is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre over here. So, we have um, a Holy Sepulchre uh, over here. You have the Huvra Synagogue, which is the white uh, dome over there. And then the this Dome of the Rock. The mark, mark. <laughs> this is the Knesset on YouTube. This is YouTube. Yes. Two yes, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, I yeah. will, I will delete you. <laughs> yeah, okay? what? Tired of us? I saw it on YouTube. No worries. What the hell, dog? Shoftoh, yeah. It's okay. Come on. 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 The boys were really worried that I will be putting uh, them on YouTube because they were doing something that they weren't supposed to do. So I will not tell you what they did mm, because <laughs> they may get in trouble. But I don't think their parents are going to watch my YouTube mm, channel anyways. But it was quite funny. <laughs> Okay, so um, we are on the Damascus Gate now and uh, I was telling you that uh, this is basically the Muslim Quarter over here. So you can see the shops downstairs over there, uh, the market, um, this is 
one of the main Muslim markets and you actually go through here and you can go all the way uh, to the Temple Mount or you can turn uh, right and go to the Holy Sepulcher okay guys so we are almost at the end of our tour I think because I think this is where it basically ends um, there is another part of the uh, wall walls walk you can do uh, I think uh, it's but we would have to go back to the Jaffa gate again because the walls of Jerusalem are basically divided into half and this uh, that the two parts are separated uh, where the Jaffa gate is so, and then from there you can go either here to the Damascus gate or you can go into the direction of the uh, of the western wall so once again nice view on the old city and the Muslim quarter over here every quarter is a little bit different from each other and uh, this quarter is a little chaotic I would say you can see the construction is like uh, not as homogenous as for example the Jewish quarter which is uh, more of a, the same architecture here it's like a lot of people are kind of building up uh, as they go uh, I don't think they get permits to do this they just do it and this is how they do it so because of this you have this uh, outlook uh, which has many different materials you have concrete you have stones uh, uh, different colors uh, metal and all of it creates this kind of chaotic outlook uh, so this is how it is here mm. and uh, well this is how it is so and uh, here we're basically standing now on the Damascus gate and what you can see downstairs is a statue of the guy that actually built those walls so Suleiman the Magnificent so this is him and uh, we'll walk there and they will be able to see him closer okay guys so Suleiman the Magnificent this is how And see him standing on the Damascus gate and in the background of the dome of the rock so it's again a view On the exit, we'll see how far this leads. Mm. I believe this is the end of the tour over here. This is where it may end. Oh, there is some more to, uh, to see. Might be a nice view here from those walls okay so the Damascus gate and the busyness of the Muslim quarter and we are standing on the ancient walls of Jerusalem We did a nice walk today. Ok 
Okay guys, so let's see how far this goes. I'll see if this is the end or we can walk further. But <laughs> there is more. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe this is the end. There's more. <laughs> so the walls don't end. They continue. That's really cool. Now we're gonna go even higher. This is nice exploration. You know, I did this tour once in my life. It was some time ago and I, I don't remember this part. Oh wow, this is a great view here. Wow, I will show you this in a moment. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this. Can you see this? This is the, the mountain, the scarp, rock scarp, uh, where some believe, some believe it's a place of Golgotha and to the left you can see the uh, Gordon Garden this is where the tomb uh, the garden tomb is located so this is a nice view from the walls on this part I haven't been able to record it before but well, this is something extra for us today. Okay, so let's continue. Maybe we will be able to go all around. <laughs> that would be funny. If, if it's possible, that would be great. Some more great views. They're redoing this whole street over here and because of this it's very very busy here. Another basketball field. So, once again, the view on the scarf rock scarp and um, and where the garden tomb is located is, is over there right there and this is the Mount Scopus
playground for children over here. And a football field. Wow. Very nice one too. Wow, wow, wow. This is great. Look at this. <laughs> you basically have a football field on the territory of the walls. That's something special. <laughs> I would like to play here <laughs> for sure. It's been uh, ages since I played football. Some of you know it as soccer in America, you know, but the proper name is football. And uh, I haven't played because I had uh, problems with my knee. And since uh, I got a really bad injury, I had to have an operation on my knee. And now I kind of uh, feel like it's, uh, it's a dangerous sport. <laughs> I, when I was young, I, uh, you know, in my 20s, I felt like I was indestructible, could do anything. Now I don't feel like that. <laughs> so I prefer other sports. I like running, maybe I uh, like tennis. It's a nice sport. Um, but soccer or football, with how it's supposed to be called, it's not my favorite sport now. I still enjoy watching it and I like uh, to watch it as others play but I don't play that much. And here is another amazing thing because we see the pomegranates, pomegranate tree. And this is very special because the symbol of Rosh Hashanah is a pomegranate. It's a very important fruit in the Jewish uh, culture, religion. It looks like a crown. Uh, the temple was used, it was decorating uh, using golden pomegranates and also uh, you can get really nice juice from it. Very sweet and very good for you. So it's a very nice park over here, very nice garden, it's like a very nice place here, actually. It's like a haven, and look at those flowers, how beautiful they are, so beautiful, it really is a peaceful place here. Okay, so we're continuing our tour on the walls in Jerusalem. This is another gate here, we're gonna be walking over. I think it's Herod's Gate. And here is going to be another observation point. So over here, this tower you can see here in the background, this is a Rockefeller Archaeological Museum. And this is Herod's Gate here. Here. And 
in the background mound of olives. So it takes a while to walk around the old city of Jerusalem. And there is a lot of steps <laughs> that you have to make. And uh, we're now going into the direction of the Lion's Gate. So today we saw the Jaffa Gate, we saw the New Gate, uh, we saw the, the uh, Damascus Gate, we saw uh, we walked over the Herod's Gate. Now we're walking towards uh, the Lion's Gate and here you can see a nice view on the Mount of Olives in the background so every angle is a little bit different look here the rooster but it's actually 4 p.m. So it's not morning. You can see the other side of those arches. Just the, the time is consuming it. Some are better, some are worse. And here you can see the Rockefeller Center. We'll be able to see it better as we walk up. But I haven't seen Jerusalem from this angle, so this is quite interesting for me. Like all those things over here, mysterious remains of structures, maybe some walls, maybe some buildings. It would be interesting to research what this actually is, but it's not looking like it's well preserved and in good hands. So, there might be not a lot of information out there, only people who, who are really experts could, could tell us probably. Another football field. Huh. Oh, really nice ones. Here we are getting closer now to the Kidron Valley that divides Mount of Olives from the old city.
and you can see here that this is the Muslim quarter because it's very loud view you can see the church of Mary Magdalene with the golden onions on top and uh, Mount of Olives so we're now on a totally different side of uh, the old city so we're now on the eastern side the most eastern side of, of the walls Here actually is a cemetery, cemetery, uh, cemetery, cemetery. Uh, it's a Muslim cemetery. you can see the dome of the rock so we're actually doing a 360 here of the walls so if you're still with me thank you for sticking around and uh, I'm sure there's gonna be great views still ahead of us so it's wonderful that you are continuing this journey with me but at some point this will end because we will not be able to go on top of the Temple Mount because this is a restricted area so we're eventually going to end this tour <laughs> so we're not actually going to go uh, next to next to the uh, golden gate for example because you, c you will not be able to access it only if you go on top of mount temple mount and then there is only one way you can go if you're not a muslim which is from the western wall side so but let me just uh, try to get on here to show you this view okay so this is where we are you can see the cemetery here uh, there is the church of nations below with the garden of Gethsemane and the Mount of Olives 
uh, Church of Ascension. It's this tower over there. Uh, this is the uh, Victoria Augusta, the German hospital I was telling you about. And over there is the Hebrew uh, Museum, uh, Hebrew University. And over here uh, you can see the Dome of the Rock. So we're very close now to the Temple Mount, actually. So quite nice that you can see this. It's a new adventure for me, and I hope for you too. Oppa. So let's go. So we can hear the prayers now, starting evening prayers for Muslim people. Because we are still in the Muslim quarter. It's quite a large quarter. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's not the biggest of the four. steps are quite large so we go up and down up and down so this is like life right sometimes in your life we're in a high place, everything goes well, but then there is those valleys, those dark valleys. Valley of the shadow of death, that sometimes you must face. And that really determines what kind of person you are, how you resolve those situations. Shows character to survive not only the good ones, but also the difficult ones. So there is one exit here, but we're not going to go here. Right here. You can hear the prayers now. So we're very, very close now to, to the Temple Mount. So this is actually over there, you can see, this is the entrance to the temple mount. So, it's one of the, the entrances you can go from the street level. And uh, you don't need steps because this is what I was talking about, uh, the Mamluks uh, elevated the the city so that people could enter the Temple Mount from ground level. So another quite interesting atmosphere today. But this tour continues and I'm amazed because uh, we are really close now to the Temple Mount. I mean uh, I'm amazed. <laughs> I didn't. I, I really did not realize that you can be here, enter from this side. I mean, this is special for me too. So, 
I'm glad you guys are here to experience it with me. Okay, so we finally, <laughs> we finally came to the end, you know. This is the end. You can't go any more. Behind this, over here, is the temple mount. So, this is it. We can't actually go any further, which is a pity. I mean, <laughs> it would be wonderful if it continued and we can go there. So, you can see the gate over here. You see the soldiers. They're actually making sure that non-Muslims will not enter this place. They're protecting it. Uh, from non-Muslims to enter it because that would could potentially stir protests from the Muslim population. So if you even wanted to go over there they would stop you because I don't look like a Muslim and they would instantly know that I'm not supposed to go there. Okay guys, so thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, please subscribe, please like the video. And if you think that this is beneficial, this is good material, think, please consider supporting the channel. Have a good day uh, and see you in the next episode. Shalom.